sell Ronald Jones. So people might think that this is an obvious transaction because Ronald Jones has carried the ball 28 times for 22 yards in the preseason, but it goes beyond that performance. There's a game theory component to the sell Ronald Jones transaction. If you drafted Ronald Jones, you probably were thinking that at some point this season, he's gonna dig into Peyton Barber's workload and become fantasy football relevant in some way. And that might happen, but I don't think it's gonna happen quickly because the Bucks start their season off against the Saints, Eagles, and Steelers. Those are three teams who are probably going to be strong favorites against a Bucks team that doesn't have Jameis Winston. And given Ronald Jones' struggles in pass protection and the fact that he had a college reception share that was far below average, it's unlikely that Ronald Jones finds himself on the field in negative game script situations. So more than likely, you're not going to get that much from Ronald Jones until at least week four. And even then, we have absolutely no idea. And it's not like Tampa Bay is some super attractive destination for running backs. The line has struggled in the preseason, and Tampa Bay as a team has ranked in the bottom seven in fantasy points scored at the running back position in each of the last two seasons. So basically, if Ronald Jones happens this year, I think it's going to be late in the season. And since there's a cost in holding onto a player onto your bench who's doing very little, you're better off selling low on Jones right now for a secondary asset who will give you more immediate production.